Hello! Welcome to this session on STAD Pro V8i. We're going to take a, a quick review of the user interface of STAD Pro, one of the leading finite element modeling, finite element analysis software in the world. We're going to review the user interface and then we're going to actually step through a, a graphical analysis of a 2D frame and then subsequent to that for a second tutorial uh, we'll use the command input and go through a three-dimensional reinforced concrete uh, frame analysis. So starting right out you launch a STAD Pro either from the start menu like any other Windows application or uh, you can find uh, this icon on your desktop looks like an I-beam with a, a little red arrow and double click that and it'll bring you right into STAD Pro just as we see here on the screen. And when you uh, arrive at STAD Pro, uh, you'll see the way the screen's laid out. We have uh, project tasks here, help topics, recent files, license configuration, STAD news. Just to drill down a bit, um, project tasks, you can start a new project or you can open an existing project or if you had project wise you could open it from there set your configuration like units of measure and the like uh, set how often you wish it to be backed up uh, and then do your license management now you'll get your uh, license which is called an activation code you'll get that from your school administrator uh, and or right off the student server if you've gone up to the student server to download you'll find the activation code is right there on the page just copy that and you'll paste it in here in the license management or if you want to use help help is terrific uh, in STAD Pro it has the entire reference manual uh, as well as tutorials in fact the tutorials we're going to go through are both right here in help and then if you want to keep up with what's going on STAD news is piped right in uh, to your desktop as long as you're connected to the internet of course and then if we go up here we'll see recent files uh, if you look at the recent files there will even be a little thumbnail over here as you hover uh, over the file so you'll kind of have a feel uh, to remind you of what that file was the license configuration is where you identify uh, the code the building design engineering code that you're going to be using uh, in the design portion of STAD Pro. And uh, in, if you do nuclear work or Middle Eastern, in Europe, Japan, wherever you are, the, the code is built right in uh, to STAD Pro. Of course, we'll be using the United States U.S. design code uh, standard for the work we're going to be doing uh, here today. Okay, let's get started. Uh, let's first just click on help contents that opens up as you can see the help and the table of contents uh, for the help we'll kind of expand that out a little so we can see more of it and uh, see what we have here we're going to see that um, uh, it's got a lot of examples uh, actual examples done in uh, real work and you can use those and those command files to get started. We're going to go through the uh, help and use the tutorials that are included here. Here's the introduction first will describe pretty much what we've talked about. Part one is the hardware requirements and installation, how you license it, how you launch it, and things that we've just done. Then part two is three tutorial problems and we're going to go through the first two of those in our exercises today. The first one uh, is the tutorial problem uh, for the steel portal frame. So let's just click on the first part of that. This is the way all the tutorials look. You notice they have the little green arrows. This takes us through step by step each part of the tutorial. This first thing says there's uh, two methods of creating a model in STAD Pro. One, 
you can use the command file method where you just type in the commands and the complete list of commands is in the uh, technical reference manual or you can use the graphical model generation mode of the graphical user interface the GUI as it's called and so we're going to do both we're going to do the graphical model for the first tutorial and then the command file method for the second one so here's our model that we're going to design uh, today and analyze it's a two-dimensional steel frame you can see the foundation the two vertical uh, b uh, columns and the beam at the top well, they're all kind of beams they're all made of uh, wide flange beams this one is a w12 by 35 over here's a w12 by 35 and then a slight larger actually 14 by 34 you can see that the nodes or joints are numbered one two three four and the members are numbered as well one two three so we have three members and four joints Keep in mind the dimensions as we go through 20 feet, center to center, the columns, and from foundation to center of horizontal beam, 15 feet, a distributed load at the top, at two and a half kips per foot. You remember kips are thousands of pounds, uh, and then the wind load of 10 kips coming in from the left, applied at joint number two. So we're going to keep that uh, picture in mind as we go through. Here's the basic data here. You'll see that right in the tutorial. So starting the program, they're going to um, talk about uh, how to go th to get the program uh, launched, and they're going to talk about the, the unit system. And so one of the first things we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the configuration portion and we're going to set it up the way we're going to do this design problem. And you notice there's all sorts of tabs, working directory, if you want the RSS feed, that's for uh, the news fields uh, down here. And I've disconnected from the internet, so we don't have those now. Uh, the design codes, file options, and so on. But the, the, the basic one is the base unit we're going to use. Yeah, mine happens to be set for metric. You're going to want to make sure yours is changed as mine is over to the English that means feet and pounds so uh, we'll apply that and accept it and we'll be out of this dialogue then while it's doing its thinking then we'll get prepared back with the uh, uh, help and we'll go on to um, to the next step so we can press the go forward button uh, this will be tell us about creating a new structure so we're going to select the new project and then we're going to uh, you the wizard will open up and in the new box we're going to provide some uh, crucial data going to tell it we're using feet and kiloplans and we're going to be doing a plane analysis we're going to name it portal uh, and then after that we're going to click the next button and go on from there so move that aside let's just go do that we're going to go and say I want a new project it's not a space frame it's a 2d plane we're going to name it portal and we're going to use the, the feet and kilo pounds and say neck so there's our uh, beginning and it wants to know where we want to go we want to add the beams the two columns and the horizontal beam we're going to begin building our model with the joints and beams so finish and then we're all set up and it flips us over to this screen uh, where we're going to do our graphical description of what's going on here probably would be useful if we familiar ourselves first before we get to diving in here with this which is the basic stad pro window you can see across the top uh, we have the usual windows pull downs the uh, called the menu bar and this is pretty much like any other windows application file edit view and so on on over to help then the more frequently used pull downs or menu commands are pulled out in the form of icons here at the top of the screen and over on the left of the screen something a little different in stad pro's graphical interface 
is the tab approach in the main window. And you can see that what we have over here are various tabs. The setup tab, and we were in that before, didn't even realize it. Now we're in the geometry tab, about to give the description of our beams. And then um, there's a general tab, each with sub-tabs uh, that go on over here. And then across the top of the screen, it even tells us uh, where we are. We're in the post-processing, or we're doing a steel design, concrete design, RAM connection, if we want to connect to that other software, bridge deck, and, and so on. So we've got tabs, icons, menu pull down, and then this is the graphic, uh, the graphic area over here.